hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and thank you so much for watching this video today thank you for watching the anointed village boy yes i am the village boy all right thank you so much if you are new please do not forget to subscribe the subscribe button is beneath this video please click on that button and change it from red all right and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that when i post a new video like this one you would be the first to watch thank you so much for understanding for my old subscribers all my returning viewers thank you so much you are contributing a lot to my growth thank you i'm so grateful in today's video i want to talk about a residence permit in luxembourg and how to get a residence permit in luxembourg all right this is a video um i received a message today so i decided to do this video so that some people can understand there is a lady who came to me and was like milton when i finish my studies how can i get a residence permit or how can i bring my family she was rather talking of her family but i want to make this clear through that how you can get a permanent residency in luxembourg depends on how long you live in luxembourg first of all for you to get a permanent residency in luxembourg there are documents you need in order to satisfy this demand all right you need a valid id or a valid passport all right as a, an international you must have lived in luxembourg for five years plus or five years or more all right Again, you need to make sure that the document you are using, being your ID card or um, your passport or your international passport, is in English language, French language or German. If it's in another language, you have to change or convert it to these three languages, all right, these three languages. So that is what you need to know before you can apply for the permanent residency in Luxembourg. Now, when you have these documents, you will go to the commune, all right, then the commune will direct you they will verify first of all if you have been to luxembourg for five years and if you have been there they will help you fill the form or direct you on how to fill the form then when it is done um your application will be made and after maybe a month two or three months you are going to receive your permanent residency via email or courier all right that is how it is going to be done in luxembourg and that is what you need to know like I said in one of my videos about four ways to travel to Luxembourg, I said for you to get the permanent residency, first of all, you must be able to contribute to the economy. They must find out if you have contributed to the economy, either by working, all right? You must not, you must not have borrowed money from their banks, all right? You must not owe the government. You must not have a criminal record, all right, before they will give you this permanent residency anyways. And you must... Uh, have learned Luxembourgish. That is the official language in Luxembourg. Let me say their mother tongue. All right, the mother tongue in Luxembourg is the Luxembourgish. So you must be able to speak this language because they want to give somebody a residence permit or a permanent residency that will be able to contribute to their economy. Remember, Luxembourg is, if not the richest, but one of the richest countries in the world and the richest in the European Union. All right, so you must know all of these things and be of standard. All right. Now, you should also understand that Luxembourg is not a cheap place to live, all right? If you are living in Luxembourg, know that you are going to be spending, all right? As a matter of fact, I don't know if a lot of you know transportation in Luxembourg is free. If you didn't know, know right now that transportation, being it a train or bus or whatsoever, is free in Luxembourg, all right? And Luxembourg don't want people who don't want to contribute to the economy. I hope you understand me. So, that is how it is. Now, I'm going to talk about the other um, ways you can get um, permanent residency in Luxembourg. First of all, let me start with the issue of studies, all right? Studies is probably one of the most important ways or means internationals use to get permanent residency in most countries, all right? Now, let's assume that you are a bachelor's degree student and your program is four years in Luxembourg. For example, if you apply to study in 2022 and you start your program maybe in mid-2022, know that you have four years to be in Luxembourg. You have 2023, 2024, 2025, and of course, you may be rounding up in 2026, all right? Now, you have studied for four years in Luxembourg. When you finish your degree program, all right, you are entitled to live in Luxembourg for at least six months, all right? Then when you leave for at least six months, that six months is you are looking for a job, all right? In case you don't get a job, you exit. But if you get a job, which is probably possible for you to get a job with a degree from Luxembourg, again, 
not just from the European Union, from Luxembourg, you can get a job very easily, as I know. Now, if you get this job, you will be given a, a let me say, a working permit for at least one year. That one year you have the working permit is going to add to that four years you have been living in Luxembourg and it's going to be now five years. That is a perfect opportunity for you to apply for a permanent residency in Luxembourg because one of the law states that you must have lived in Luxembourg for five good years. I hope you understand. With that, with a good stand of your Luxembourgish, you can now, after the five years, maybe your, your, your working permit expires, you can apply again for another one in case, because you are contributing to the economy, all right? In case you are given again, after that, you can now apply for your permanent residency. That is how it is possible for a student to get permanent residency in this country. But remember, you have two criteria to meet. You must show enough finance in your account, all right, to get the permanent residency. And you must have lived in Luxembourg for five years and can speak Luxembourgish. Don't forget that. Now, for master's degree student, in case you finish your two years program, you can still live again in Luxembourg for two more years if you get a working permit. All right. Or if you get working permits for these years, then after the five years, you meet these requirements for the Luxembourgish and the money in the bank account, then you can apply for your permanent residency. That is how you can get residency through schooling. All right. The next way I want to talk about um, that you can get permanent residency is if you show enough money in a bank account in Luxembourg. All right. Now, there are people who have enough money. All right. Like the case of, uh, like I said before, Luxembourg wants people that will contribute to the economy. This is the point. If you put more money in a bank in Luxembourg, not the normal money we are thinking of, thousands of euros, all right, millions of euros. If you have money, put it in an account in Luxembourg, then the authorities will assess the money because this money is going to be contributing or this money can contribute to the economy of the country. All right. In this case, they will assess if you meet up the, the required amount, which I know is thousands of euros, maybe half a million, uh, half a million euro or something. All right. You would be granted permanent residency in Luxembourg if you applied for. All right. Because this money is going to contribute a lot to the economy of Luxembourg. I hope you understand. That is another way you can get permanent residency in Luxembourg. Now, I want to talk about another way you can do this. Another way you can get permanent... Yes, like I said before, um, there are so many ways. But now, another way you can do this is if you start a company, all right? Starting a company, it's going to take a long time. And there are legal ways you need to, to meet, or let me say procedures you need to follow. So when you follow the procedures, you are going to assess it. You have to go through a lot of court uh, certification or things like that, all right? When you meet the requirements or if they realize the, uh, the the authorities in charge if they notice that you meet the requirement they are going to grant you the permanent residency that is how it works in luxembourg all right now the last point i want to mention here is if you marry someone from luxembourg let me say your spouse or your wife or your husband is from luxembourg automatically you would be given a permanent residency because this individual has it all right so that is how basically you can get this document you can follow these ways if you meet requirements you will be given you will be granted in no time all right it's not a problem in as much as you meet the requirements they will give it to you it's not an issue all right i hope it was helpful